Meet my wonderful wife, Thelma. This is Thomas, who I've talked so much about. You must be very tired. Adelmo will show you to your room. Thank you. Yes, yes, I always recognize a collie. How are you, sir? Oh, my dear fellow. You silks to carry off the rare feat of being highly respected by both the criminal fraternity and the police force. No one loves my father. Any thoughts of following in his footsteps? I have a conditional place at Trinity to read law. Not a hard graph for that, though. I'm glad to see you're not taking anything for granted. I'm bright, but I'm not clever. If you know what I mean. One thing puzzles me, sir. Hmm. How did you come to know of my kidnapping? I have many connections, some of which are less than reputable. I pay well to be informed of anything of note in any city in which I stay. And the kidnapping of a count son is of note. Would I... Would I be presuming if I asked you to come for a walk with me? When? When the bluebells are hurt. No. You wouldn't. You dirty old git! You always sneak around these woods. This is where you get off on. It don't bother me, boy. Yeah? Well, it bothers me. In fact, you bother a lot of people. You want to do your flies up? I'll lead them against Don't... You're my blood. And you're a noble presence, but... He calls me Red Riding Hood. Really? Why is that? Well, because I'm always wearing this Red Riding Hood. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. It's kind of cool. Thanks. My family calls me Red. What's your name? Hunter. <laughs> Appropriate. Tristan Thorne. Shot boy by day, peeping Tom by night. Is there no end to your chance? Uh, ow! Ow! Humphrey, there's no need to be like that. Be nice to the poor boy. Ah. Were those for Victoria? Anthony's one of our finest horsemen. Except for when I fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Are you enjoying your walk? Yes, Your Grace. Good. Then I shan't delay you any further. Pretty little thing, isn't she? Indeed she is. I'm going to marry her. Excuse me. Hi. Uh, I need a female opinion. Which of these two would a young woman prefer? I can't decide. Um... Oh, I don't know. They're both so beautiful. Oh, it depends. What type is she? Well, she's quite young and very lovely looking. Blonde hair, blue eyes. <laughs> My dad called this office at least a dozen times looking for Diego. Where's your uncle, then? What? Look, okay, 
This guy, his people, came looking here for your uncle. Where are they gonna look next? Do you really want to be here when his pals turn up? Come on, we gotta find your uncle. doing? I've been here before, and last time I fell rather badly and hurt my head. I'm afraid it isn't going to stop you getting hurt. Sleep well, Napoleon. You are never a god. You are never even a man. Fix your water problem. Are there more? Yeah, in that a daisy. Go on. Yeah. But I want my 20, okay? Dollars, not in ours. How about I pay you in freedom and democracy? <laughs> Taught that guy in Texas hold him. Do not play him. Turns out he's a goddamn prodigy. I chase, they live in the dark. And I could see them really easily until you came along. Because you're the light. Can you still make a mask? I need a face to make a mask. Sorry, I was aiming for his chest. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too. I'm sorry, I'm confused. You are... an old friend. God. Look at you. You're in such a mess. Where's your hat and your gloves? Well, I have a hat. It just makes my head itch. And I have no gloves. She has no gloves. Plainly not my draft. Improvised weapon before escaping through the window. I'd say this was a targeted search and interrogation in which two women were discovered. And then my sister arrived. And you were curiously fast to arrive after her. Now, are you going to release her or shall I? It's been a while since anyone's made the world this nervous. Black Adam, we should talk. 